And she was like, who? And he was like, nah. And we was like, what? And she was like, who? And he was like, nah. And we was like, what? Black man, go, go. Hi, right, hello, and welcome to another episode of Just Ask Joey. I'm your host, Joey. This is the only place on the internet where a former idiot answers your questions to help you either avoid idiocy or get over your idiocy. And then sometimes we get random questions like sports, like politics, like uh, the one today. Did the title get your attention? That's kind of the idea. So you guys know this. You Anybody that looks at the news online... You guys know that people put headlines to be provocative and to get you to click on it. And I thought, so we got this question of, you know, because of all the, the, the current events and stuff and everything going on in Dallas and things going on just all over the country. And it's extremely disturbing. And you get questions like, dude, what's wrong with cops? And I thought, you know what? That's a really good question. And it's also the perfect title for a blog and a vlog and a podcast. So we used it. So the question of the day, what's wrong with cops? Or what the hell's wrong with cops? Or what the F's wrong with cops? And I think a lot of people are asking that question. I know a lot of protesters are. I know a lot of people all over the country are. And it's things are pretty intense right now. It's scary right now in certain cities. So I thought I would address it. So what's wrong with cops? I don't even know where to start. There's a whole lot wrong with cops. And I think the biggest thing wrong with cops is that they're just like us. They're human. And cops make mistakes. Humans make mistakes. There are people that are fantastic at their job. And there are people that are horrible at their job. And the biggest thing wrong with cops, I think, is protecting the bad cops. I mean, I can't think another profession where you are supposed to be held to such a high standard that would let people kind of get away. I mean, not kind of people that are getting away with murder. I I look at the, the police situation very similarly to the Catholic Church situa- situation. Those of you that have seen Spotlight, you guys know that there's some major issues when you protect the weakest link and I think what cops do is they protect the weakest link and I and I I understand it from a group perspective you never want to sell out anybody in your group because you feel it makes the group weaker when you push the bad ones out or when you push the weak ones out or you admit that there are weak ones but what happens is it ends up causing more weakness in the long run because when you protect the weakest link, when you protect the bad cops, that leaves us where we are now. That leaves us to where people are so angry at cops that they're shooting at cops just to shoot at cops. That's crazy. But people feel like, you know, these 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 guys are getting killed. You don't comply with the officer, you get killed, whether or not you have a gun. You comply with the officer, you get killed. You don't even really resist. You get choked out on camera in, uh, in New York. You're pulling out your ID with your kid in the back and your girlfriend or your wife or whoever sitting next to you and you get shot. And there's not like an immediate, this cop is a shit cop and we need to get him out. That should be the automatic like response is this person is way on leave. This person completely misjudged the situation when they're a prof- you are a professional situation judger like your job is to protect the public your job is to be able to determine when situations are dangerous and when they're not and when you can't do your job because you're a shitty cop because you are a scaredy cat because you are a racist you have to go in any other profession if you were a doctor and you had such an egregious error that somebody died on your table because you couldn't assess the situation at all, you would lose your license. If you were a lawyer and you tried somebody and you did such a horrible job that that you know the case went completely against them because you messed up, you would be disbarred. 
if you are a cop and you shoot somebody and kill somebody who's selling CDs out of their car and maybe they're being a dick or whatever, maybe they're, you know, being an asshole, but you had two cops on one dude tackled on the ground and you felt you needed to shoot him in the chest. You had a, a, a father in his car completely complying with you pulling out his id and you shot him in the chest you're a shitty cop and the only thing wrong with cops is that they protect shitty cops as opposed to getting the shitty cops out of the force possibly in jail if they deserve it but that's not what happens cops go into court And they go, oh, I feared for my life. And the judge goes, oh, shit, you feared for your life? Oh, okay. Well, what are you going to do? Because they're afraid of the backlash of officers. And what happens is when you fear the backlash of one group, when you don't hold one group accountable, the other groups that are being affected are going to react. And that's what you see now. You see these crazy ass dudes in Dallas shooting cops and shooting white people. It's not cops. It's not white people. It's shitty cops and shitty white people. Like that's the issue. You can't take you can't allow these these bad apples in this group of people to determine what the whole group is. Like not every cop is bad. Most cops are good. Most cops do a do a fantastic job. It's a difficult job. And they do a great job. And you, and you take these, these handful of crap cops and you apply it to the whole group. You can't take bad apples and apply it to the whole group. Just the same way as some of these cops are taking, you know, black males and applying whatever their, whatever their idea of a black male is and applying it to everybody. To the point where you take out your ID and you get shot. That's ridiculous. You can't label all Muslims terrorists. There are a group of extreme Muslims who do crazy things. That's a group of people. That's not the religion. You can't take a group of Christians. What's the church? Some church in Kansas. Those guys are freaking crazy. They don't represent all Christians. You can't, if you want to look at real crazy Christians, look at the Crusades. Can you imagine what people would have said about Christians during the Crusades? I mean, we have you know, we have this stuff going on with the Muslims, with the extreme Muslims here now, when it's kind of doing stuff like nowhere near the stuff that the Christians were doing during the Crusades. Does that make Christianity bad? No. Does that make uh, Muslims bad? No. That makes those Christians and those Muslims bad. That makes those cops bad. Just those cops. But when you, when you embrace shitty cops or you embrace shitty people in your group you hurt the group as a whole and that's what's going on here people are seeing cops shitty cops and all they want is just them held accountable just be held accountable for your actions if you don't secure somebody in the back of a van and you're driving around and they break their neck or whatever you're a shitty cop if you're If a person is reaching for their ID and you shoot them, you're a shitty cop. I don't see what the I don't see what the issue is. I don't understand why you're why they why they get protected. Being a cop is a freaking it is a heroic job. Being an EMT is a heroic job. Being a firefighter is a heroic job. But you can't keep the people that can't do their job on the job they gotta go i mean at least at least kick them off the force that's the least you can do suspend them without pay when you shoot somebody that's pulling out their id because if you can't assess the situation well enough to not shoot somebody pulling out an id you cannot do that job anymore if you can't assess the situation where you have two cops tackling one person on the ground and instead of holding the other person's arm down so they can't reach for whatever you think he's reaching for you decide to 
let one guy take it and you pull out the gun instead when you could have just put your knee on his freaking head and held on his arm. And guess what? They never would have pulled out whatever the hell they were going to pull out of their pocket. You're a cop. You've been trained on this. Act right. Act accordingly. Respond appropriately. So what happens? You have these two shit cops tackling the man man uh, selling CDs. You have this one shit cop shooting a father in his car in front of his baby and his girlfriend for pulling out his ID. And because you are not responding appropriately, you get maniacs that go over the edge and they go out and they're shooting up people in Dallas and they're starting riots. So you, this is happening because you're supporting crap cops. Just don't support crap cops. That's the problem with cops. That's it. It's just that you're supporting shitty cops. And when somebody says something negative about shitty cops, then they get on them. Like the whole thing with Quentin Tarantino. He's not saying anything bad about cops. He's saying there are situations where you have shit cops and the person dies and it is, it's murder. It just is. Just admit that it's freaking murder and just, and go from there. Hold them accountable. When you shoot somebody without a gun, you got to be held accountable. I'm not saying any time a cop shoots somebody, it's bad. If you have a gun, if you're out pointing a gun or you have a gun in your hand and you're around other people with guns, I fully expect you to get shot. The same way if I go out and throw a gun around, uh, I'm probably going to get shot. There's a dude down the street from me, white guy, supposedly had a gun. They shot the shit out of him. Did he have a gun? Absolutely not. Did anything happen to those cops? Absolutely not. There's a crazy chick. Other around the other corner from me, kind of over, right over by the place where I used to live, she had, <laughs> she had a, a drill, she had a black drill in her hand, and she got shot. Did anything happen to those cops? No. If you're a cop and you can't tell the difference between a freaking gun and a drill, you shouldn't be a cop anymore. But is that person a cop? Yes, they are. Is the person a cop who shot the guy around the corner that didn't have a gun at all? Uh, yeah, that's the issue. You have to, there have to be standards that if you use extreme force in a situation where there is no extreme force necessary, be freaking held accountable for it. That's all people are asking. Just be held accountable for it. That's it. Stop protecting people. Stop being the Catholic Church protecting repeat child molesters and just sweeping it under the rug. Hold them accountable because it brings down the whole group when you don't hold the people accountable. That's a major issue. That's the only problem with cops. Now, personally, I think cops would just use rubber bullets and block guns like they do in uh, in prisons. And I think that every city has a SWAT team. They have the real guns. So when the real stuff goes down, you you have snipers and you have whatever you whatever the hell. You have the batter ram, batter ram. You have all of those things uh, at your disposal. But I firmly believe... That even if you have a gun, if you get lit up with like 45 rubber bullets, you will probably stop doing whatever you're doing. If you get hit with 45 rubber bullets and a couple blocks and a couple bean bags, you'll probably stop doing what you're doing. Will some people die with the block guns or with the tasers or with the rubber bullets? Yes. But it will be a hell of a lot less people. And I guarantee nothing will change as far as like crime rates and stuff. You'll make the guy look like the, he has chicken pox. He'll get arrested and you didn't kill him. You didn't have to use lethal force because there are other options available. People are going, oh, well, we, uh, you, you cops don't have guns. You're going to let everybody run run wild and stuff. Uh, do they have, do cops carry guns in England? No. Do you have crazy crap going on in England? Uh, no. Just stop being short-sighted. Hold people accountable. Look for alternatives. And kick out the shit cops. You have to. The same way you would kick out the shit doctors. The same way you would kick out the shit lawyers and the shit teachers and the shit construction workers. When you don't do your job well, you have to be held accountable. And when your job is to serve and protect and you are not able to serve and protect, you need to go. I don't know what the hell the response to this is going to be. I fully support cops. I fully support the protesters. But you can't go crazy with the protesters. Don't add to the problem. You're trying. You want to. You want to find a solution. 
work on the solution. Don't exacerbate the problem. Cops, please kick out the bad cops. That's the issue. I am totally support both sides. I think you have a right to protest when people are doing you wrong. And I think that the institution, um, the legal institution is not supporting the public the way they should. But I completely support the group. I completely support the cops. But you have to hold your people accountable for the good of the city, for the good of the state, for the good of the country. Hold people that don't do their job well accountable. Please. I'll see you on Wednesday. And she was like, who? And he was like, nah. And we was like, what? Black hands, go, go.